Hey, Randall, um, can you remember a crazier inning than that fifth one that you guys had today? And can you just kind of like take me through what it was like experiencing that inning? Uh, yeah, I don't think I, I, off the top of my head, I don't think so. Uh, that was incredible, you know, obviously uh, against the Red Sox in, in the division, you know, late in the season, last time we're playing them, first game of a four game set. So that's big. But uh, yeah, no, it felt like, um, you know, Evaldi was throwing the ball really well and, and guys just stepped up in big spots and just kept continue to hit one through nine. And, uh, you know, that was just, you know, kind of a glimpse of what this offense is capable of. Can you just put into words kind of the momentum or the energy that you guys are riding right now, basically since you got back to Toronto? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, being able to come back here and, and feed off of the crowd's energy and just be back in a big league ballpark, back in the, the great city of Toronto. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. I know guys are super excited. The clubhouse is definitely lively and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's exciting and it's, it's transitioning to the field. Awesome. Thank you, Randall. Go ahead, Jordan. Hey, Randall, as you mentioned with the crowd's energy there and, and feeding off them, Obviously, last week with the homecoming, there was a lot of energy there from the crowd, too. But how would you rank sort of the, the energy from the crowd in that fifth inning there in particular with the, just the noise and the electricity? Yeah, it might be the best that I've seen um, since I've been here since 2018. Um, and the crazy thing is it's, it's only 15,000 fans, I believe. So um, that just goes to show that the fans are into it. Uh, you know, they're bringing the energy and, you know, we feel it. And uh, yeah, it, it got loud. And, it, that, you know, we love that, you know, that, 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 that pumps us up. We feel it and, and see it. And, um, you know, we hope they let more in. But if not, uh, the guys are bringing it. And then just in terms of uh, the start of, of that rally for you guys um, with the, the bottom three hitters there in the lineup, all getting doubles, all on, I believe, uh, one, two counts. What was it like just to kind of get things rolling like that, knowing what you had waiting at the top of the order? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Obviously, we know what the top can do. And, um, you know, one through nine, we know what we can do. And that was just huge going double, double, double you know, tying it up there and then obviously rolling it over to the top and allowing those guys to go up there and swing the bats like they have been doing. And um, obviously, you know what happened. Thanks a lot. Go ahead, Ben. Hey, Randall. Thanks for the time. Um, I missed the very start of this. Did someone ask you about uh, getting hit by Robles yet? No, they have not. Okay. Well, then I would like to know, just from your perspective, what unfolded there? What are the emotions for you in that moment? I mean, the you guys have just scored seven runs. Like, you know, it, reading between the lines a little bit, it, it certainly wouldn't take a huge leap to think that might have been intentional. But uh, what was your emotions in that moment? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you could read it one of two ways. Obviously, I didn't read it that way. You know, if you want to look at the inning, um, you know, nobody pimped anything. No one did anything crazy or anything disrespectful to their team or, or him on the mound. Um, you know, I talked to a few of their players uh, throughout the game and after the game. And they said he did pitch uh, his last outing was, was a lengthy outing and, and, you know, he had uh command issues there. So, um, you know, they, they not necessarily weren't surprised, but uh, you know, they reassured me it wasn't intentional and, you know, off the bat, I didn't think it was, you know, like I said, we didn't do anything disrespectful. So, you know, I knew going into it that you know, one got away, he was probably trying to pump up to, to, you know, get out of there, but uh, you know, things happen. For sure. And then um, I guess just more broadly with this team, um, you know, you guys are now five and a half behind the Red Sox. Like it was literally last week, you guys were 10 and a half back. Like it looked like it wasn't possible. Um, now, like, and I know from what you guys say, it's not like you're sitting there refreshing the scoreboard every day. But when you look at the way this team has played, what do you take away from the last week or so of what the Blue Jays have been able to do? We're a really good ball club. You know, I think, um, you know, we believe it in there. You know, we've got an unbelievable starting pitching. Uh, the bullpen's been been locked down and, and the offense has been coming through. So, you know, I think, um, you know, we know the talent that we got in that clubhouse can can do some great things on the field. And it's kind of been coming together since we've come to Toronto. And, you know, hopefully it continues. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Go ahead, Shai. Hey, Randall. Uh, thanks for the time, man. I just, just back to the crowd a little bit, but just from a bit of a different perspective. You know, this is the first time you guys have played them where the crowd's not only sort of maybe a bit for you, but also hostile against them. 
right? It's just uh, there's a different energy where you know they really don't like the other team. They really like you. I'm wondering just if you sense that dynamic at all in that fifth inning there where, you know, they haven't played with, uh, faced you guys under those circumstances, right? It's been pretty good for them uh, all the games so far. I'm just wondering if you sense any difference in, from that vantage point in, in this contest. Uh, yeah, I kind of didn't really get all that. You're kind of breaking in and out, but uh, yeah, I mean, the the crowd brought the energy. Obviously, uh, you know, rightfully so. They're probably not big Red Sox fans, so they probably had some chance and some, some things to say that, you know, um, weren't necessarily nice to, to their players. But, you know, they, they're bringing the energy, and, and regardless of what they're saying, really, as long as it's not too offensive, um, you know, we, we thrive on it. You know, we that, that pumps us up. It fires us up. Um, and, you know, we, we, we enjoy that. I mean, that's huge for us. Yeah, I guess I'm not sure if uh, I broke up when I said this part, but sort of it's, it hasn't been hostile for them. And you guys have had to go into Fenway. And they don't like you there. I'm just wondering, how, how do you feel that sort of changes things where you know, maybe they're on their heels a little bit more for the first time? When the facing you guys yeah yeah i mean that's huge now nah, i didn't hear that part but the, yeah that's huge i mean obviously you know we're not making excuses but when we were done eating that we felt like they were all road games you know we went to buffalo and they were all home games besides playing the yankees and, and boston you know they packed the house with fans and it i mean that's 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 big, you know, that kind of energy you feed off of, you know, ninth inning, two outs and you got a runner in scoring position and you're hitting, you can feel the crowd, you know, um, you know, you can, you can tone it out so much, but you can feel it. So that's why we were wanting to come back to Toronto so bad. We knew those were going to be home games for us. If the fans were going to come with it because, you know, they hadn't had baseball in forever, you know, obviously we're not even at full capacity, but it feels like it is out there. Uh, like I said earlier, it might be the loudest it's been since I've been here, um, in 2018, since I've been here. So, um, uh, yeah, that's huge for us, and, and we feel it, like I've said multiple times, and, and it definitely lifts us up and wants us to get out there and, and do our best on the field, and it definitely makes them, you know, a little timid or a little second-guessing themselves. So, uh, you know, that's that's definitely a plus on our side. Thanks, Randall. I appreciate it, man. Well, Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Randall, good to see you. Just when you look at this this AL East race, I mean, you know, there's four really good teams. Um, it feels like it could be epic in September. What are you expecting down the stretch? Uh, I'm expect expecting it to go down to the wire. Uh, I wish we could play all the teams even more so in September just, just to create more drama. But, um, yeah, it's it, you're like you said, it's four really good teams, really good offenses, really good pitching staffs. And, uh, you know, it's going to come down to the wire. That's it for me. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Randall. We'll be back with Alec.